when you say repurposing, you're not saying just take little video clips from that video. You're, you're talking about creating new content from that original video that can be used on different platforms. Maybe dive a little bit deeper into what you mean by repurposing so that everybody's on the same page, if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, um, so I, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. So um, of a repurposing, uh, I guess, story that uh, people I think would be quite surprised with. So it's something that uh, we, we mentioned our mutual friend Jay Bear. Um, and so to explain um, some repurposing that, that he's, he did, okay. So firstly, when he brought out his book, uh, Talk Triggers, a fantastic book that Jay um, wrote, he he did, did loads and loads and loads and loads of research and had loads and loads and loads of case studies that went into that book. Okay, so all of the research became a book but he also turned that research into a keynote talk. So we're starting to go a bit down the repurposing route here because there was a load of research that became a book, but also became a keynote delivered on stages, you know, all over the world. And then all the case studies in the book um, became individual videos. So short videos, the Talk Triggers YouTube series was launched. Okay. So we're repurposing case studies from research into a weekly show on youtube and every week um it was a short kind of seven or eight minute episode that dug into a case study shared in the book then every one of those videos became a podcast episode so it wasn't just the weekly talk triggers youtube show it was the talk triggers podcast as well and that came from extracting audio from video and producing that into a podcast so we have both of those, the video is going on YouTube, the podcast is going onto the podcasting apps. And again, that's for some people love to listen, some people love to watch. So choose right. your way of taking in this awesome content, but didn't stop there. So then they became blog posts. So that case study and everything said in that, all the great comments became, you know, long form written blog posts. So maybe you don't want to read, maybe you don't want to watch, but you maybe you don't want to watch or listen, but you want to read. Okay. So they became blog posts. So this is repurposing video into podcast episode, into blog post, and then social media content. So from the video, there's conversation starters in Twitter. Let's let's create lots of different tweets asking people about things brought up in the video, points made, questions to ask. Um, let's take, as, as you mentioned, Mitch, let's also create shorter videos. So um, let's take this long video and create 15 second ones to share in Instagram stories and and, and one minute ones to, to share on LinkedIn and that kind of thing. So slicing and dicing up the video and creating like quotes and, and graphics and things like that. And I know I'm talking about a lot of different skill sets, I guess, here in talking about this, but it's, okay. um, it's going across all these different. So, you know, you could start at the top with video to podcast, to blog post, to tweets, to Insta content, Facebook, LinkedIn, et cetera. And, you know, maybe you were talking about the, um, you know, the top 10 ways to do a live stream and you could turn that into a checklist as well um, and have a content upgrade right there to grow you, your email subscribers by having a, an accompanying checklist or an infographic that you can get onto, um, you know, places like uh, Pinterest and places like that. So um, then we're going down the visual route as well. So it's really thinking about... Um, about the different formats, yeah, not just taking one thing and slicing it into what it is, which is a great thing to do, you know, blog posts into tweets, videos into shorter videos, but it, it is about, yeah, other long form as well as other bite-size uh, snackable content as well.